Cascada just released its latest update, version 2023.1, and I've had a lot of fun trying it out. Today I want to walk you through the coolest new features and how you can use them. Let's start with the highly anticipated finger auto posing feature. Your character has to be rigged with the quick rigging tool and all 5 fingers needs to be rigged as far as I know. And then you can activate it simply with the hand icon in the auto posing menu. The controllers function the same way as with body auto posing. Moving or rotating the points will activate them and you can deactivate them by pressing shift Z. I found it uh, difficult to close the gaps between fingers, but it does a fantastic job setting up a natural curve for each digit. And it makes it very fast to block out hand poses that can be tweaked later on. It's important to note that the finger auto posing feature is exclusively available in the pro version of Cascader, but if you are using the free version, you can still utilize box controllers to pose your fingers. And if you are interested in upgrading to the pro version, I have an affiliate link in the description down below and it will get you a 15% discount, plus it also helps support my channel. Now let's talk about the other major addition, which is video mocap. Although it is still in its early stages and may not be the most useful tool at the moment to be honest, it's definitely a fun one to play with. Just make sure that the character is visible during the whole video. And I also had issues with low quality images and videos. You can import video references or just simply drag and drop mp4 files to the scene. Then you'll need to select the interval for the animation in the timeline. And once you've got everything set up, select the reference and click the mockup button at the top. First time it will prompt you to download a package but you only have to do it once. Then it will give you an estimation how long it will take so you'll have an idea what to expect. And it's also possible to set up poses from images, you just simply need to add the plane to your scene and bind the reference image as a texture to this plane. Then select the frame where you want the pose and click the mockup button. In the future this will probably improve a lot, but until then there are several other options, uh, some of which are free, like deep motion and Rococo, that can give you a better result. I might make a video in the future dedicated to this topic. Wonder Dynamics is one of the most exciting from these options, and how we can use it with Cascader would be interesting. Somewhat related to mockup is the fulcrum motion cleaning tool. It can fix feet sliding for example with one click, which is especially useful with mockup data I think. The control picker is another useful feature especially if you are familiar with it from other softwares. You can open it from the windows tab and to use it select the controllers in the viewport and in the control picker view add a new button with right click and you can customize its color and size. And when you press this button the same controllers will be selected. Having an outline for the ghost is also a great new feature and you can even customize the width and color of the outline. And there are two other news that are somewhat related to my Blender add-on I created. With the Python scripting update, the previous version of the add-on won't be compatible with the new version of Cascader, but there is already a fix available that you can download from GitHub. And the quite exciting news for a lot of you probably is the Mac release, but unfortunately the add-on currently doesn't work on Mac OS, at least for now. To see the full list of features, check out the release notes and have fun with the new version.